All right, I'm going to show you another place where the English Standard Version people decided to destroy two uh, prophecies in, that relate to Jesus Christ from the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 9, verse 26. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. The Lord God of Shem. What does that mean? The Lord God will come from the bloodline of Shem. And you look at all the genealogy stuff in the Bible, and even in the New Testament, you'll see this thing, and it goes back to Shem, one of Noah's sons. Not Japheth, not Ham. Shem. Blessed be the Lord God of Shem. It's a prophetic wording there. Lord God of Shem. What does the ESV say? Blessed be the Lord, comma, the God of Shem. You're just blessing the Lord. You're not, you're not giving any kind of a special blessing to Shem and to his descendants. Kind of weird why you would destroy a prophetic utterance about Jesus Christ coming from the Jewish people. Hmm. And while we're here in the book of Genesis, let me show you another one where they do it again. 22, verse 8. Twenty-two, verse eight, Genesis 20, twenty-two, verse eight, and Abraham said, "My son, God will provide Himself a lamb for a burnt offering." So they went both of them together. God will provide Himself a lamb. What's it saying there? God is going to provide Himself a lamb. Himself, He is the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. An amazing prophecy that Jesus Christ is God. And he is going to take away the sin of the world. God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. Amazing prophecy. But what does the ESV do to this prophecy? Abraham said God will provide himself the for himself the lamb for a burnt offering, my son. So they went both of them together. It's no longer God will provide himself a lamb. It's God will provide for himself the lamb. You see how they mess with the wording? And destroy another prophecy in regards to Jesus Christ. Just disgusting. 